Okay, two point charges Q1 and Q2, okay, one column and two column, are placed two centimeter and three centimeter from the point A, respectively, as shown in the figure six. Find the magnitude and direction of electric field strength at point A. Okay, good. So, okay, let us look at this question, yeah. <clears throat> so, looks like we here we have two point charges, okay. And then he asked us to find um, electric field strength. Uh, electric field strength at what point? At point A, uh, at this location, okay. So, electric field strength is E, okay, we want to find E. Uh, we need the magnitude and direction. Okay, uh, give us the charge already. Both, uh, uh, this one is a uh, Q two is a negative charge. You can write as negative two, negative two coulomb. Uh, place two centimeter and three centimeter from point A. Okay, this one also you have to change to uh, SI unit. This centimeter, I need to change to uh, meter. Okay. Now, uh, to find the electric field strength at A, okay, since there are two uh, point charge, uh, you need to find out what is the electric field strength provided by Q1 and also electric field strength provided by Q2. There will be two electric field strength um, at point A. Okay, so uh, because you have two electric field strength, you need to find the resultant resultant electric field strength at point A. Actually, this uh, is the resultant already. Uh, yeah, the one you need to find is the resultant uh, resultant electric field strength at point A. Okay. Uh, so okay. First of all, let us draw out what is the electric field strength given by charge one and electric field strength given by charge two. Okay, so as we learned, uh, electric field strength, the direction of electric field strength, uh, for positive charge, electric field strength is going away from positive charge, but for negative point charge, the electric, electric field strength is towards the negative charge. Okay, so uh, okay, now let us draw the direction of electric field strength. Uh, let's say for charge one, Okay, that we, we know that the electric field strength is going away because it's a positive point charge, isn't it? And it's going away. So uh, at point A, it is it's supposed to be going to the right. Uh, this is E1. Okay, uh, E1, this is the electric field uh, provided by charge 1, Q1. Okay, be must be this E1 is away from positive charge. Then, okay, next uh, we have this negative uh, Q2. Uh, we have a negative point charge here. So, for negative charge, the electric field strength is inward, uh, inward, going towards the negative charge. Uh, so, uh, so I use a blue color now. Okay, uh, so for for electric field strength for negative charge, the electric field strength is going towards the negative charge. Towards the negative charge, negative charge. So at point A, the electric field strength provided the electric field strength provided by Q2 should be towards the Q2 also, yeah? Towards the Q2. Ah, should be towards the Q2. Uh, because the electric because it's a negative point charge, electric field strength must be towards the Q2. This Q1 is a positive charge, so the E1 must be away, away from the positive charge. Uh, that's how we do it. So in the end, uh, we got this E1 and E2 already at point A. So uh, we need to find the resultant electric field strength. Uh, by E1 and E2. We need to find the electric resultant. Okay, but before we can find resultant, we need to calculate first what is the value of E1 and what is the value of E2. Okay, let us calculate first. So for E1 uh, is equal to KQ1 over R1 square. 
Okay, just the magnitude. I just want the magnitude. Okay. Uh, I important thing is you must draw the direction of electric field strength first. Uh, then you can know uh, whether these two electric field they total they add up or they cancel each other. Okay. Uh, so now let's calculate the value of E1 before we can find resultant electric field. Okay. Find the magnitude of E1 and also find the magnitude of E2 first. Okay. So KQOR square, that's the formula for electric field strength. Uh, K is the uh, constant value you can find in the list of constant provided by exponent 9. Q1 is a positive charge, 1 coulomb, put it as 1 coulomb. Okay, KQ over R square, how far is it? How far is Q1 from point A? 2 centimeter. Ah, centimeter, you need to change to meter, that means you divide by 100. So when you divide by 100, it becomes 0 0.02 meter. Don't forget to square. Many students forget the square, the distance. Uh, okay. Okay, now we can find the value. Yeah, calculate the value. Let's punch your calculator. 9 exponent 9 multiply 1 coulomb divided by uh, 0 0.02 square. Okay. So the electric field strength is 2.25. Uh, 2.25 exponent 13. Uh, 13. Um, this electric field strength uh, unit is Newton per coulomb because electric field strength is also force per unit charge. Force per unit charge. So it's new force is Newton, charge is coulomb. So it's Newton per coulomb. Okay. So the unit for this one is Newton per coulomb. Okay. Uh, per coulomb. Can write this as um, the direction is to the to the right. Okay, direction is to the right. Now let's calculate e two e two. Yeah, find the magnitude of it. K Q uh, two over R two square. Okay. Now um remember okay this is uh this Q two is a negative charge. Do we need to put a negative sign on the Q2, on, ch on the charge? Uh, remember what I told you? When talking about vector, vector like force and electric field strength, to find the magnitude, we always ignore the sign on charge Q, uh, Q1 and Q2. Always ignore the sign. But talking about scalar quantity like potential energy and potential or work done, uh, when, uh, when we want to find the magnitude of it, the charge you must have the sign must have the negative sign okay must have the negative sign for scalar quantity but for vector quantity we ignore the sign on the charge okay ignore the negative sign so even though this q2 i know is negative charge negative charge but we ignore the sign yeah so the q uh, ignore the negative sign on Q2. Even though Q2 is a negative charge, yeah, although, although Q2 is a negative charge, but we know because we just want to want to find the magnitude of magnitude. Uh, so it's always a uh, positive. Okay, when uh, modulus something, modulus something is always a positive value. So the charge cannot have any negative sign. Okay. Now continue. So um, this one is nine exponent nine, nine exponent nine. And how about the charge Q2? Q2 is negative 2. So we put as positive value. Eh? Just ignore the negative sign. Ignore the negative sign. Although it's a negative charge. And how far is it? Point A to Q2. Uh, it is 3 centimeters. 3 centimeters. So change to meter. Uh, divide by 100. Ah, so this is in meter. So remember the square below yeah the square below okay after i calculate uh, 9 exponent 9 multiply uh, 2 divide by 0 0.03 square divide by 0 0.03 square so uh, 2 exponent 2 exponent 13 2 exponent 13 newton per coulomb uh, 2 exponent 13 
Newton per coulomb. Okay, the direction also to the right. Uh, direction also to the right. Okay, so remember what I told you about the direction. Okay, uh, let, let, let's go back to this one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, remember I told you about the direction. Okay. Uh, so electric, uh, a vector. Now, uh, last time it's about force. This time it's about electric field. But it is still vectors. Uh, they are still vectors. Electric field is still vector. So, for vector, we always use the positive negative sign to represent the direction. Uh, so, but this time we add, uh, add up one more. Uh, we have electric field. We have electric field. Okay, going up, electric field going up is positive, going down is negative, electric field going to the right is positive, going to the left is negative. Uh, so we still use, because electric field strength is also a vector, vector, so we still use a positive negative sign to represent the direction. So we can say, uh, for E1, it is, uh, the, this vector is to the right, so this electric field is a uh, positive. It's a positive uh, electric field. Uh, and then for E2, also to the right. Also to the right. So we it is also positive E2. Uh, just now it's E1. This is E2. Okay. Uh, direction to the right is positive. So now we can find the resultant because we already got the value of each electric field. Uh, find the resultant. So the resultant electric field strength at point A, A, sorry, at point A, that's the resultant electric field strength at point A. So we have, uh, you know, positive E1 plus the E2 also positive. Uh, why, why both of them are positive value? Why this both of these electric field strength positive? Because both of them to the right. Because direction to the right, direction to the right, the sign is positive. Direction to the left, the if direction to the left, the sign is negative. Okay, uh, both of these vector to the right, so both of them are positive. Okay, so we substitute the value uh, with positive sign. Yeah, we substitute all the value with positive sign. So e one is two point two five exponent. Excuse me. 2.25 exponent 13 and then uh, plus the e2 e2 is a uh, 2 exponent 13 okay uh, so uh, what's the answer 2.25 exponent 13 plus a uh, 2 exponent uh, 13 so i got uh, four point two five exponent thirteen. Uh, this value is a positive value, positive electric field. Okay, this is a thirteen. Uh, uh, four point two five exponent thirteen. Uh, unit is newton per coulomb. Direction is uh, because the 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 electric field is positive sign. Positive sign always. If positive electric field, positive electric field is to the right. Uh, to the right so direction is to the right because i got the resultant the resultant electric field strength is positive value positive means the resultant is to the right okay uh what well, direction of electric field is to the right so is that correct uh, let's find out so the answer is uh 4.25 Exponent 13 uh, Newton per coulomb. That's right, to the right. Okay. How did I know about this uh, direction is to the right? First, I refer to actually, I refer to the sign of the resultant. Resultant, if the resultant is positive, positive sign, that means the resultant is to the right. If the resultant I got negative value, negative value, it means the resultant electric field is to the left. 
Uh, okay. If negative, if resultant is negative, then direction is to the to the left. If direction if resultant direction is positive value, that means is the the electric field strength is the resultant is to the right. Okay. Uh, the answer is correct. So that's all for this question. Okay. See you again next video.